Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install the new Google Nest thermostat. So this just came out in 2020, and we're going to replace this existing thermostat with our new Google Nest thermostat. So the very first thing that we need to do is turn the power off to our HVAC system, either at the HVAC system or at the circuit breaker, if you can't find that switch on the side of your HVAC system. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're at the HVAC system and typically you're going to find a switch mounted on the side of your HVAC system or you're going to find one in the same closet as the HVAC system that controls the power. You're going to need to flip that off. Now, if you can't find the switch on the side of your HVAC system, go ahead, go down to your circuit breaker and flip these circuit breakers off for both your air conditioning and your HVAC system just to be safe. And that's gonna cut the power off to the device. And how you can check it is turn up your heating or cooling so that it's running. And then when you flip off that switch or flip off the circuit breakers, you will no longer hear it running. So let's go back and get the new Google Nest thermostat installed. All right, so we have the power turned off to the HVAC system and we're ready to remove the existing thermostat from the wall. Now, depending on your existing thermostat, sometimes this plate will just snap off if you pull it. Sometimes there's a tab you need to press down to remove the existing thermostat. So just go ahead and check around the outside of your existing thermostat if there's some kind of tab you need to release or a screw you might need to pull off to get this off the wall. Mine just pulls off and tilts out and then we can get access to the wiring. Now, before you do anything else here, I want you to make sure that you stop and take a picture of your existing wiring and save your thermostat when you remove it in case you have any issues installing the Nest. Keep your existing thermostat and take a picture of the wiring with all the labels down here so that if you need to put this back, you can do that as well as it will help you when you go to install the new Google Nest thermostat. Now, in order to remove the existing wires, you're gonna need to have a smaller size screwdriver to get in there and loosen up these terminals. So if you don't have that, go ahead and get that now. Some of you will have larger terminals that are easier to remove, but in a lot of cases, you need a small screwdriver to be able to get in there. So now we go ahead and remove the wires by loosening the terminals. Once we've loosened the terminal, we can pull the wire out. All right, we have all the wires removed from the existing thermostat. Now we just need to remove it from the wall with these screws that hold it onto the wall. But if you have any questions about what these wires do or if you've got a different type of HVAC system and are concerned about how to get it installed, please go ahead and look at the links below in the description that has links to all of our other videos that explain thermostat wiring in depth in what each one of these colors means. So typically your red wire is power, your green wire is fan, your blue or yellow wire is going to be your air conditioning, and your white wire is going to be your heat signal. And for our HVAC system, that is the case. Now that will not be the case for all of you, but for a lot of you, that will probably be a similar wiring or very similar wiring to what you have. But if you're uncertain, go ahead and check the description below for all the different resources that we have on Nest thermostats and HVAC wiring because we have dozens of videos on different iterations for HVAC wiring to help you out there. Now, let's go ahead and remove the screw that holds the existing thermostat on the wall. Now we're ready to start installing the new Google Nest thermostat. Now there is an issue here in that our existing wall was not painted behind the thermostat. So you can go ahead and do that or there are cover plates available for the new Nest thermostat but you're gonna to have to purchase them separately. This is a cover plate for an old version thermostat that we're going to use on here because it will match up and cover the unpainted area. However, there is no cover plate that currently comes with the new Nest thermostat. So if you want one of these, you're gonna to have to purchase it separately. And we'll include some links below where you can purchase cover plates that will work with the new Nest thermostat if you wanna cover up an existing area that is unpainted behind your existing thermostat. So in order to install this the first thing we're going to do is put the cover plate on first then we're going to put the base plate on and then we're going to put the thermostat on so let's go ahead and we're going to get the wires through the cover plate here and now we're going to take our base plate and you want to make sure that you have it the right side up 
and you'll know the right side up because you've got that little bubble level there. And then you're gonna put the wires through that hole in the center of the new Google Nest thermostat. After that, you're gonna go ahead and secure the Nest base plate to the wall with the cover plate on here as well. Now, since I'm not using an exact fit cover plate, I'm only gonna be able to get one screw in there for the Nest thermostat and that should be fine. But typically you want to install both screws if you have a cover plate that fits the dimensions of the Nest base plate. Now we're ready to start wiring up the Nest thermostat. So we're gonna use that picture we took earlier and match up each of these wires with the terminals that they go on. And once again, if you're uncertain of your thermostat wiring, check our links below for different wiring configurations and how to understand that. Now, all of my wires have plenty of exposed copper wire so that I can connect them to the terminals. However, if yours don't, you can use some pliers to strip a little bit more of the insulation off or even a knife to peel a little bit of that insulation off. So the first wire we're gonna start with is our red wire here, and that's gonna go in the R terminal. Now you're gonna to refer to your individual picture that you took and wire these up. But in order to put this in, we're gonna put it in the side of the terminal, and you wanna press down over here while you slide the wire in, and then release, and that tab should stay down on the terminal, and then you've got that wire installed. The next wire I'm gonna wire up is my blue wire. Now this is our air conditioner wire and that's gonna go in the Y terminal over here. So we're gonna do the same thing over here on the Y terminal, push down the tab and slide the wire into the terminal. Now we've got our white wire over here and that is the heat signal to the HVAC system and that's gonna go in our W terminal. Now let's wire up the last wire, which is the green wire that's gonna go in the G terminal. And the G wire offers fan control. So let's just go ahead and wire that up. Now we have our Google Nest thermostat wired up. For this process, you used that picture you took earlier. However, if you didn't take a picture or you have any issues, check those links below. Also, you notice that currently we do not have a common wire connected for the new Google Nest thermostat. Now, in most cases, the Google Nest thermostat will not require a common wire, but if you're having issues and need a common wire, we show you a couple different options how to do that, and we've got links to those videos that show you how to do that below as well. Even though that they are for the Nest Gen 3 thermostat and the Nest E, they will still work with the new 2020 version of the Google Nest thermostat, so no worries there. They wire up the exact same way. Now we're ready to install the new Google Nest thermostat. So I've got it over here in my hand and I wanna show you a couple things before we put this on there. You can see on the back of the new Google Nest thermostat that there are a few pins there and those pins will align with these terminal holes. So you're gonna line those up and install those. Now the Google Nest thermostat does have two external batteries in the device. So in order to make sure that this is working when you go to install it, you're gonna to need to pull the plastic out here and make sure that you have the plastic contact strip out from both of those terminals so that when you install this, that battery is properly working. So we've done that now and all we're gonna do is align the pins with the holes on the Nest thermostat base plate. Now we've got the device installed and it is telling us to continue the installation on the Google Home app. So what's different about this device is that it does not connect to the Nest app any longer. It connects to the Google Home app. So if you don't have Google Home, you're gonna need to go ahead and download that, create a username, and set it up on your device. We've already done that, so we're ready to set this up on the Google Home app. So let's get the Google Home app open and we're gonna start installing this. You may also wonder why you're seeing the camera right now in the reflection on the new Nest thermostat. And that's because the new 2020 Nest thermostat has a mirrored screen. And you can see that text behind the mirrored screen 
but because it is a mirror, it reflects everything. So right now you're seeing the camera in the reflection of the Google Nest thermostat. So I've set up and installed the Google Home app on my phone, and I've gone ahead and opened up the Google Home app. Now to install and set up the Nest thermostat, what we're gonna do is press the plus button over here in the upper left-hand corner. Now it gives us options here in the menu on the Google Home app, and we're gonna go ahead and click set up a device. Now we've got different options here, but I'm gonna click the top where it says set up new devices. Now here, if you have multiple locations, it's going to make you choose a home, but we're gonna go ahead and just click next on the home that is selected. Now we're asked to turn on Bluetooth, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's on. With Bluetooth on, Google Home is now looking for devices. Now it asks us what we are setting up. So we're gonna scroll down until we can find the device that we're setting up and we're gonna select thermostat. Now it asks us, allow home to take pictures and record video and you're gonna click allow here. Now it asks us to scan the QR code for the thermostat. On the thermostat, you can see on the back where I've got this little post-it note, that is where the QR code is. So you can go ahead and scan that and then the device will pop up on the app or you can click continue without scanning. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the QR code and then see what happens. So we scan the QR code and I'm just gonna reinstall the Nest thermostat on the base plate here. You can see that the Nest thermostat pops up here and we're gonna click continue. It asks you to agree to the terms and conditions so we're gonna click agree. Now it's got a whole bunch of instructions for installing our thermostat, but ours is already installed, so we're gonna click already installed. Now it's also a good time to take a moment to restore the power to your HVAC system. So go ahead and flip that switch back on on the side of your HVAC system or restore the power at the circuit breaker if you turned it off. Now we need to select the wires that we have from the picture we took originally. I select my wires and click next. Now we click next. Now we need to select a language. Now it asks us to test our system's power, so we're gonna go ahead and click start test. It asks us our heat fuel source and we're gonna click gas. It asks our heat delivery type and we have a traditional HVAC system and it uses forced air. It says, should the fan activate when calling for heat? And we're gonna go ahead and say yes, activate when calling for heat, and then click next. It asks us to choose which mode the thermostat should use today. Our thermostat can now be used to control heating and cooling. It shows the current heat set point on the Nest thermostat and the current indoor temperature of 75. Now, unlike other versions of the Nest thermostat that you rotate the outer circle to control the Nest thermostat, on this device, what you'll see is that the bezel does not rotate. There's actually a touch screen on the side here and you use that to scroll up or down or make adjustments. So you press and hold to scroll up and down, and then when you make a selection, you click again, and that makes a selection. So just something to note while you're setting this up. Now, we still have to connect this device to Wi-Fi, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. To connect the device to Wi-Fi, we're gonna go ahead and click Next. Now, our device automatically connected to Wi-Fi because we've got our Wi-Fi information there on the Google Home app with other devices. However, some of you will probably need to enter your Wi-Fi network and password and get that set up. Now it asks us for our home address, so we're gonna go ahead and input that information and click Next. We entered our information and now we click Next. The app asks us where the device is located, so we're gonna go ahead and choose a location. The device asks us to save energy with scheduled temperature, so we're gonna get started. Now it gives us instructions for what we need to do, and we're gonna go ahead and click Next. 
Now it has some different temperature presets built in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and click next to these. However, I would adjust these to my personal preferences for comfort, eco mode, and sleep. I typically like to sleep pretty cool and when I'm away from my house, I don't care if the temperature is a little bit higher or a little bit lower if I wanna save money and I usually like to be comfortable. So you can go ahead and set all those ranges now you can click on any of these tabs and make changes or selections by pressing up or down on these to get your desired comfortable temperatures or eco modes or sleep modes. We're just gonna go ahead and click next here and we can always make changes to those in the future. Now the device says that it can automatically change the temperature with a schedule, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Here a schedule pops up and we can make changes to the schedule here or click on different days and make changes to those schedule. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click skip down here at the bottom for now. It asks me if I'm sure and I'm gonna click yes. Now it asks us to set home and away routines. I'm once again gonna click not now. Now on the app it pops up and tells us about heating and cooling system alerts. To help keep an eye on your home, Google Nest will alert you to potential heating and cooling system issues and provide seasonal reminders to keep your home running smoothly year round. I'm gonna go ahead and click next on this and see what happens. Now let's click next. Now we're following the instructions on the app and you can tap the touch sensor and swipe up and down to control the temperature. So I can just scroll down on the temperature here to make it lower and I can then scroll back if I want to adjust the temperature up. We're gonna go ahead and click next. If I wanna make a selection or access the menu, I click on the side of the device and then once again to navigate the menus, I need to scroll on the touch sensor on the right side of the device to make a selection. Now I'm gonna click next. Now our new Google Nest thermostat has been added to the Google Home app. So it should be on this app and if I wanna make adjustments, what I can do is click some of the shortcuts up here. So I'm gonna click the thermostat shortcut and it gives me two options for thermostats. And this device is currently named the Nest thermostat. So we're gonna click on that. And there it is, it shows up as family room. And now I can adjust my settings from the Google Home app for the new Nest thermostat that we installed. And it should show up here. So as I make adjustments over here on the app, you can see that those adjustments are also made on the new Nest thermostat. So there is no longer app control for the new Nest thermostat on the Nest app. All control of the new Google Nest thermostat goes through Google Home. So some of you might like that and some of you might not like it. Personally, I really did like the Nest thermostat interface for the Gen 3 and the Nest E, but now everything is on this Google Home app. So if you want the new Nest thermostat, you're gonna have to be okay with using the Google Home app. Now, another major change on the new Nest thermostat is that you can no longer rotate the outer bezel. This is all one solid piece. In order to control the device, you're gonna use the touch sensor over on the side. You can tap it and then scroll Scroll up and down by pressing and holding. So thank you for watching this video on how to install the new 2020 Google Nest thermostat. We're gonna have other videos that dive into how to use the Google Home app with the new Nest thermostat and how to use the device itself here. So check those out in the links below. Now, if you're having any issues wiring your Nest or troubleshooting it, go ahead and also check those links in the descriptions. Thank you for watching. Please give us that thumbs up. And if you want to support us, subscribe to the channel or click on any of the links below. Thank you.